Several friends of Bungie have shared this video that's going around on Facebook with me and asked me to respond. I don't do this very often, but I'm going to go on record and You've just tell you. have been on record you, every Tuesday. No, but I mean, what I'm going to. Crossbows <laughs> do not belong in an archery season. Period. Take that one to the bank. My response is it doesn't matter what you think. <laughs> How's that for a response? The reason it doesn't matter at all what the antis think about crossbows is because crossbows are taking over, whether you like it or not. I wrote about this in my book, The Death by Bungie Crossbow Story. Way back in 2009, Pennsylvania legalized the crossbow for all hunters, right? In all of the hunting seasons. If you want to hunt with a bow, you can hunt with a bow. But if you want to hunt with a crossbow, you can hunt with a crossbow. If you want to hunt with a rifle, that's great too. But I can still hunt with a crossbow during each of those seasons. In fact, since the very beginning of Death by Bungie, I have only referred to them as crossbow seasons. Why? Because I don't hunt in archery seasons. No, I am not an archer, and I don't want to be. I am a crossbow hunter. I only hunt in crossbow seasons. In fact, there are only crossbow seasons. In a world where some believe crossbow hunters should take a back seat, Bungie and I enjoy putting crossbows in the limelight. There's no archery season. There's only a 43 day long crossbow season that also just happens to allow compound bow hunters to take part. They should be grateful that they're allowed to share in the 43 days of awesome with us. The same goes for rifle hunters during the second crossbow season. It's fine with me that other folks join in our various seasons and enjoy the outdoors as long as they recognize that they are joining our seasons, after all. And the best part of this, the reason that I say crossbows are taking over, is simply because I'm not alone in this. In 2010, I bought my first crossbow, the OB Bungie, the original Bungie. That first season, you know, 30, 40% of the deer taken in Pennsylvania during the archery season were taken with crossbows. By just a few seasons into it, crossbows had taken over. Now, it levels off to about 60%, 65% of the deer taken during the so-called archery seasons are taken with crossbows. And that is the same nationwide, state after state, when they legalize crossbows, crossbows take over. Welcome Minnesota to the world of crossbow equality. <laughs> now by my count, 28 states, more than half the states in the country, legalize crossbow for all hunters during all of the seasons. You can't beat that. That's crossbow equality. If that's not enough for you, if you need further proof that crossbows are taking over, and that they're not going away, and that we will be joining you in the woods year after year, forever into the future. If you need further proof, look at one more book, the Bass Pro Shops catalog. <laughs> it's not a book I wrote, but, but look at this, right? We look at this book, and this just came in the mail. Lots of people get this, right? But this is all the proof you need, all the proof you need. We go to the bow section, right? And what do we have here? We got some bows. We got one, two, three, four. Nope. Nope. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven pages. Eleven pages of bows. Now let's turn the page to the crossbows, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a nice 10 point. 7, 8, ooh. 9, 10, 11. Crossbows aren't going anywhere. When Bass Pro Shops gives that much attention, that many pages to crossbows, you know where the money's going, right? You know how people vote with their dollars. They wouldn't put this many of them up for sale if it wasn't selling. It really does not matter what anti-crossbow hunters think about crossbows. It really doesn't matter. That's why I don't spend a lot of time talking about that here on Death by Bungie. It's a waste of time. It doesn't matter. If you need further proof of that, think about this. When this much money has been invested 
and buy in crossbows, right? And when game commissions that aren't funded really by tax dollars, they're funded by license sales, right? And if state after state after state has 60% of its happy archery season participants hunting with crossbows, right? That's a lot of satisfied customers. Those people are going to vote with their dollars also. You aren't going to sell licenses if you can't sell them to people that want to hunt with the weapon of their choice. They're not going to unring this bell. You're not putting this genie back in the bottle. You understand? Crossbows are here to stay, like it or not. Take that to the bank.